three time Grammy winning country star Trisha Yearwood can do a whole lot more than just sing. The singer and actress also has an Emmy for her Food Network television show, and she just came out with her fourth cookbook titled Trisha's Kitchen, Easy Comfort Food for Friends and Family. I had a chance to talk to Trisha about this latest book, plus why she says her marriage to country superstar Garth Brooks is so successful, and her cooking advice for me since I'm raising hungry boys. Katie sitting on the road from the porch, watching the chickens peck the ground. We loved her music for over 30 years, and we also love her food. Grammy award-winning singer, actress, songwriter, Trisha Yearwood has a brand new cookbook out. Trisha, I love this one because I love recipes that tell a story. It, for me, it feels so much like a throwback to the kind of the, the, where it started. And there are recipes in here uh, from my mom and dad, things that I thought I'd already put in a book or things that I discovered in the recipe box that I thought I had, that I must've missed somehow. So it was really cool to go back and find some of those hidden gems. Okay, Trisha, I don't always love sweets, but I love a good donut. So what is that there in front of you? This was created to, to give me something fun to do with the kids. And it's really just, um, you can make your own donut or you can buy a box of, of from, the, from the donut shop. You're, I'm not gonna judge you, uh, just plain donuts. And then you make a simple frosting and some food coloring. And then you dip the, you dip the um, donut in and it comes out in this really beautiful pattern. This is really a great thing for kids because they can't really, they can't really hurt anything. They can't make a mistake. She's in love. You recently released the Every Girl Deluxe album, and that just takes me right back to that number one hit, She's In Love With The Boy. Did you have any idea, Trisha, that that song would impact so many people? Um, it was a different time, and we, we made a video before the, the single went to radio, and it was a cute video, and a lot of kids liked it, and people started calling the radio stations and requesting the song before radio even had it. So it was a, a little different time, and, and I was, I was so shocked that it went the number one as my first single. So I thought, I thought this was supposed to be really hard. I learned later. It's really hard. But that first single was really magic. And it really set the stage for a 30 year career. That's been wonderful. When people ask you for your love or marriage advice, what do you say is the glue that keeps you and Garth together? We have a real strong foundation of friendship that a, a lot of times you jump into a relationship and you don't do that. And then you look back and go, man, I, I don't even, I don't even know this guy. I didn't really like him that much. You know, it's like, that's, that's uh, I've been guilty of doing that. So I think that was a, that's a really strong foundation. And Garth is really good at um, not letting me get away with like, not talking about it. Like I'm good. If, I'm good with like, I don't like confrontation. I just list Everything's fine. He's the one who'll ask the question. Like if you go to dinner with Garth, he'll ask you some He'll just say, not to get too personal, but he'll ask you some really personal thought-provoking question. And, and it makes you a little uncomfortable, but it's also good because it gets you to think. And uh, so I think for us, it's that communication that never stops. You don't just get married and all of a sudden you don't have to have that. You don't have to have that communication. And finally, Trisha, I am raising boys at my house who are always hungry. So what do you do when you know a bunch of hungry guys are coming over? Just more. It doesn't matter. Boys are easy. It's just more. Whatever you're making, like if I make the hot chicken sliders, I just double, triple the recipe. Just more. <laughs> I'm going to take her advice on that. I, if I make like a huge platter or a casserole, they don't like it. If I just make a small amount of, can we have more? That's all I had. Trick them. <laughs> Trick them. She just looks so comfortable with herself in so many ways. A great cook, great, I mean, it just, she's got everything. She seems really happy. Uh, where she is in life right now. And I do want to let you know, Trisha Yearwood is going to take part in a virtual book signing with Warwick's Bookstore in La Jolla that actually takes place next week on Wednesday, September 29th at 4.30. Just go to warwicks.com for more information.